It cost Tim Schrader a lot of money to heat this house last month, $260, and he doesn't even live there. He and his wife are just getting ready to sell the place. The house they live in, oh, that bill was $400. A whole lot more than I wanted to, that's for sure. I could use that money someplace else to fix something else up. Mary Gust of Consumers Energy is feeling everyone's pain. To help, the company is touting its website as a tool to let customers investigate their home energy usage patterns and find energy-saving tips. It's definitely the energy bills will be higher, and this is just one tool that customers can use uh, that will help them manage their energy budget better. Some are starting to look at alternate energy systems. Liliana Hintz and her husband Ron own Nino's restaurant in Bay City. In the newer part, they've installed what is called the R-Panel system. Developed in Italy, it uses a boiler to send hot water through the panels, creating heat. Let people feel the difference between forced air and radiant heat and let them decide if it's something that might go in the United States and there it is. The result, heating bills are around $40 in the new part of the restaurant. Compared to 275 on the other side and almost $200 in my house, so it's a big difference. It's just one way to deal with these high energy bills. For Tim Schrader, he'll stick with natural gas for now, but he has another idea. Let's move, move to a warmer climate. In Bay City, Terry Camp, ABC 12 News.